All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Project Science Psycho again with you today. And in this one, I'm going to be reviewing one of my favorite um, console games. It's a Game Boy game. It's uh, It's been made into a series. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's only on Game Boy Advance. The Mega Man Zero series and the first part of Mega Man Zero. So, uh, let's just get on to it. Mega Man Zero, as far as the story goes, follows the events of the original Mega Man um, where you were playing as X and in this one X is pretty much um, the well, kind of the bad guy or the friend um, however you take it of you as playing as Zero. Um, you wake up from a deep slumber after some after um, after long years and are asked to save the world again from the um, from the bad guys that are trying to take over it um, and join the revolutionaries in protecting your base and um, defeating all of the other reploids that are um, that are planning to kind of well um, take over the world and um, and pretty much um, do some bad stuff. We'll just go with that. Um, I don't want to spoil too much of the story for you. Um, so as far as the gameplay goes, it's a really nice kind of hack and slash game um, or hack and slash platformer actually um, in which you have a lot of story and um, as this is the per first part you have you actually have a lot of weapons and everything and collectibles you can pick up a whole load of cyber elves a few different weapons that you can test out throughout the game and um, a lot of different bosses so um, the difficulty of the gameplay kind of well, it's not too hard and it's not uh, too easy either because every boss and every, well, kind of bad guy has a unique capability of getting on your nerves. So, it's a really fun game to play with a lot of story, a lot of character and a lot of gameplay, a lot of different gameplay styles. Um, you can actually adapt it to yourself however you like it. You can play with the, the saber, the shield, um, a spear, or a gun throughout the game. Um, so it goes however you like it. You can actually wield two weapons at once and um, upgrade yourself via the cyber elves that you collect throughout the throughout your gameplay. Um, so yeah, in my opinion, it's a really great um, Game Boy game, which I would recommend to all of you that you play at least um, the first part um, to see if you like it because the whole series is really amazing um, especially as far as the story and everything goes I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't go on with the story or anything there's a fan there's a fan based game that is gonna make its appearance um, as far as the rumors go but we'll see how that goes in the future so that's gonna be all from my side in the meantime don't forget to like and subscribe comment on the videos and I'll be joining you guys in the next one